Welcome to Binge Watchers where we talk about the stories and characters we love and the shows they live in. My name is Ron and let's talk about Season 1 of the Amazon original, Goliath. Goliath follows the story of Billy McBride. Billy was once a big shot lawyer, a named partner at a massive law firm in LA, but he's sort of fallen from grace. Now he lives at a motel, spends his days at a bar, his wife left him, you get the picture. The story starts when Billy gets the opportunity to go up against his old law firm. The case has to do with the alleged suicide of Ryan Larson. Ryan was at sea and the boat that he was on exploded. The boat was owned by Bourne's Tech, this huge weapons manufacturer. And the case has to deal with the questions of, did Ryan kill himself? Did Bourne's Tech have anything to do with his death? What was he doing out there in the first place? Billy represents the family of Ryan Larson and his old law firm represents Bourne's Tech. The eight episodes of the season follow the case from its inception all the way to resolution with Billy being pretty much the center of it all. The show does a really good job at giving us insights into Billy's life and the personal stories of a limited number of other characters without taking anything away from the main story about the case. This is one of those shows that prove that you don't need a groundbreaking idea to tell a compelling story and tell it well. The story here is this lawyer goes up against other lawyers. There are a ton of shows with the exact same premise. But most of them are not as good as Goliath. So Billy Bob Thornton is really great in this show. Every single cast member is actually. Fantastic performances all around and great, great pacing. The show doesn't take too long making any one point. It doesn't feel like the story moves too fast. It feels like eight episodes was the exact amount of time required to tell this story. The case is interesting because it's really two cases. It's the Larson family against Bourne's Tech, but it's also Billy McBride against his old partner, Donald Cooperman. Again, not a new concept, but just done so well in this show. Cooperman is almost a classic villain. He's disfigured, he's an egomaniac, he literally spends his time sitting in the dark. It's pretty amazing how this show pulls this off. It's like this character is Dracula, not the boss at a law firm. But William Hurt does such a good job and his character is so well written and directed that you buy it. You buy that the experiences Donald Cooperman had in his life have made him this way. There's also a great supporting cast. Patty was probably my favorite character, but really there isn't a character that you feel shouldn't be there. Everybody serves a purpose. And Goliath is a very straightforward show. It doesn't try to get fancy with the storytelling and the premise is simple. None of that means that the show is not engaging. It's a really solid drama done very well. Billy, I thought, was a pretty fascinating character. He's not really an anti-hero and he's not really a good guy either. He's somewhere in between. At first, he's not even interested in the case and then at some point he gets to a place where he's just doing it because he's already doing it. He wants to go up against Donald. He sort of wants to help out this family, but mostly he came this far so he'll see it through, which feels very human, very real. He doesn't really feel like a TV character most of the time. He often says or does the wrong thing. And even when something he or any other character on the show does, doesn't really have a clear reason, it still makes sense. It still feels like something a person would do or specifically that character would do. And that's pretty much it. It's a solid legal thriller that gives you basically everything you want from this type of show. So bottom line, should you watch it? Yes, I definitely recommend this show. I love a good drama. I love good character development. And I love a show that doesn't take longer than it should to tell the story. Goliath has all of these things and more. If you like legal thrillers, you'll probably love this. But even if you just like straightforward, down-to-earth dramas, 
I'm sure you'll enjoy this. So two questions. First, have you watched this show and what were your thoughts about it? Second, what's your favorite courtroom drama type show and why? That was really four questions. I would be a great lawyer. If you're gonna be talking about spoilers, please use spoiler tags in your comments. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps out a lot. And you can find me on Twitter and Instagram and TV time. You can also join the Binge Watchers Discord server where we chat about TV and stuff, and it's a lot of fun. You can find the link in the description. But if you're finding Binge Watchers for the first time, welcome. I'd like to invite you to join the Binge Watchers community. Come talk about TV with us. It's a lot of fun. Subscribe to the channel. But in any case, keep binging, and I'll see you in court.